Amigos. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Amigos Plays. What are we playing tonight? James this is Pond. The live stream of James Pond. Right. It's funny how we have like two different words for the same thing. Like when we do it for yeah, the show. Yeah, we've never live streamed yeah. a single one of we, these. We did at the very beginning. I love that, yeah. by the way. <laughs> it makes me think something's wrong with the computer. It sounds. Um, if a fish ever made that noise, I would be leaving the lake. <laughs> yeah. There's just some buxom uh, female fish that's hey, with him. That's how Pond rolls. That's true. I cheated early and often this week when <laughs> playing this game. Uh, I could get past these first couple levels too pretty simply, and then it was Doom City. You know, did you... I like the fact that, of course, this is that, that same old Amiga trope of having just, like, tons of random things to collect. It's, it, this is very Zool-esque. Right. I think it's a better game. Or Super Frog is more Zool. appropriate, yeah. Um, yeah, I think this probably lies for me right in between... Super Frog and Zool. I think it's better than Zool. Maybe not quite as good as Super Frog. See, I, I look at it the exact opposite. Really? I think Zool is probably better than... I know this is going to get me killed. But this game... And, and there are parts of this game I really enjoy. See, and, I'm already enjoying this game much more than I did Zool. Well... Zool was terrible from the get-go. At least... At least you can complete the first level of this game without too much strife. Well, I mean, I thought Zool was in the, the first couple levels weren't that tough either. Maybe. The, have so. you got? Have you played any of the higher levels on this? No. It's insta doom. <laughs> I didn't think so. I cheated to go through all the levels, and uh, I will. There's tons about this I like. Number one, it's original. I mean, it's very original. Uh, <laughs> it's a very silly pun, but it's an original game. Uh, secondly. I like the graphics. They're colorful. Mm -hmm. They're they're beautifully done. They're multi-screen, which yep. is nice. Uh, I like the fact that uh, they it, they don't mind being a little cheesy, mm -hmm. you know, because I like a little cheese in there. Uh, they take the platformer genre, Ooh. and when you do it underwater, it's much wackier. Right? Mm -hmm. um, it's all I don't know. I mean, I it like is platformers, but oh. it's it's very yeah, that's really wacky. Yeah. Um, but it's not the easiest thing to control. Let's be, let's call a spade a spade here. The, there's so much stuff floating around <laughs> and to see, which I wouldn't mind. If the, the, what really gets me are the little enemies or the enemies you don't know are enemies, mm -hmm. and that is tough. And it's hard to, when you're rocking and rolling. It's hard to differentiate between enemies and stuff you should pick up, or it's like that flower. Right. You know, just stuff that's just there. There are parts of this that don't make any sense to me. Warps, weird warps and stuff that I couldn't figure out to save my life. Like how to get, like I would almost get stuck. You know mm -hmm. what you're doing here, by the way? Oh uh, no. Okay, you're supposed to escort those fish to the exit. I'm those, just having a grand old time. This friendly fish, thing. yeah, okay. that guy. So I'll take him to the door. He'll follow you. Where is the door? All the way to the left. Oh, that's a wall. Come on. Yeah, he'll come with you. Uh, uh, the music in this is top shelf. Yeah, I believe it was uh, Richard Joseph uh, did it, and uh, he's always good. The theme is great. So you went to your house. You, you don't you have got to, a you, house. Yeah, you. There, yeah, that's awesome. How can you not like this game? I didn't say I didn't like it. How I, how can you think Zool is a better game than this? I think no, Zool. I think this is a much. This game is better on every level except one. I have a rough time playing it. Where Zool, I had a better time playing. It. And when I say better time, I mean I was. I could I'm having a it grand old time. Maybe it's because you're using the joystick. You should use the game pad. Yeah, I don't <laughs> think that's what it is. But uh, so I don't know if that fish you took in there left or not. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with him. But hey, I got an extra. And this is uh, this game reminds me an awful lot of Super Frog and Austin more than Zool because it's like a platforming game that someone did. But it, now it's—I will say—it's more—it's more well designed than Super Frog, but it's still not on the level of a, of a proper. It's like a Nintendo yeah. type, which I mean, of course, <laughs> that's sort of not fair. It's a high bar. Exactly. I can't find that fish anymore. There's more than one. You can get to the. There's a tunnel at the bottom for you to go to the second screen. I believe it's at the bottom uh, of this screen. Oh. Yeah, there it is. There Man, it, here, give me that. Okay. Show me how it's done. Of course, without my uh, 
all fire cheats. <laughs> I'm not used to avoiding the bad guys at any point. <laughs> all right. You do know about the cheats, by the way, right? Oh, uh, no. If you pause the game, which God knows how you can pause it on this thing because it's the, you, on the Amiga, it's the help key. Uh, when you pause the game, you, you uh, by the way, this, the pause has a little jingle that I really like, too. I'll mention that uh, before I forget. But uh, you pause the game, you type in Junkyard. Hmm. And then once you type in Junkyard, you're, you have access to all the various cheats. And one of the cheats is indestructibility. Um, the cheat I use the most is to automatically unlock the exit. Hmm. That's a personal favorite of cheats. <laughs> I like the bubble bobble kind of mechanic. That's cool. What was another game, Rainbow Islands, that we played that had that? See, like these fish right here. Mm -hmm. It's hard to differentiate. Well, they're just part of the show. <laughs> mm. No, you're right. See that glue? That makes you slow. Oh, okay. There's a ton of little. I mean, that's something else that I like about this game. There's a lot of little, like, interesting. <laughs> Jack Daniels. Dude, like, Jack Daniels says, that's bad, too. It makes you not do as well. Have you, and if you stick around long enough, you can see their super bad guy come out. Oh. Ooh, that was neat. I didn't know that was there. Oh, yeah, secret, secret is. Now, watch my health go down. You've got to go through these things pretty quick. Oh. Because otherwise, you will be killed. Like, i, I got to get out of here. Go, 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 go. Where's the door? Oh, Ooh, barely. boy, wow. That was here quite impressive. The... You don't want that guy to get you. <laughs> All right. Let me see where I am here. Some of these levels are harder than others. Okay, now see, you're, this is a... I remember playing this one on the when I was playing on the real 500. I had trouble with this level. Now how... Oh, you, you warped to level 3. So... Yeah. Just a second, I'm going to turn up this music a little bit. I'm... You know, only, I was going to say you should have control. Yeah, you're right. Okay, you've got control. <laughs> wow, that was... There's the thing. So these are like, you know, buried objectives. At every level, and that's something else that's neat about this game. There's a lot to like. I was probably, I've been a little harsh with it, because like I said, it plays, it's really Helter Skelter. And it, it the, the, the difficulty of it is really unbelievable shoot. Come on. It get on higher levels, boy, does it get hard. I mean, for real, it's really hard. Yeah, I can accept that, though. The, the, the curse of the Amiga platformer is that level one is often impossibly hard. Well, I mean, this thing's only got like 12 levels. Yeah. <laughs> so. Now, can you go into that thing? Yeah, this is the other. Most, I think every level has multiple screens. Okay. Which, if you don't know that, that can make you have real trouble trying to figure out how to beat the game. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, that's my favorite. Well, that's, that's, that's a lot of goodies in there. Yes, sir. Of course, again, your health goes down. Right. Yeah, the music in this. They really took the spy. Mm hmm. Uh oh, he inked me. That's tricky. Let's see if there's any more up here. It's like I may have missed one. Something else, there are a few levels where you actually go out of the water. Mm -hmm. And I mean, what, like way out. The polar bear level comes to mind. I don't know if you saw that one. Mm -hmm. I think James Bond 2, it had some, it, it also had a polar bear connection. Yeah. This was this this is just one level. You know that that reminds me. We did our the James Bond episode was the Christmas episode we did because it has that whole Christmas theme. So it was almost exactly a year. I guess we're off by about a month. This may be the last one. I I missed one. Do these numbers, this two and five, mean anything to you? I never pay attention to the bottom of the screen on this. <laughs> I don't have time to look down there. There must be another dinosaur. Is there? Have you been in there before? Yeah, dude. No, These things literally will change almost, I think, every time you go in, they're different. 
Okay, I'm gonna go all the way across here. Oh, you no. icky bum. That's no good. Okay, let's do one more thing with that. I'll find somewhere. There it, there is. it is. Is that thing hurt me or helping you? Is that a fairy that makes you invisible? I took that something and made my controls all jacked up. Uh. seconds left. James Pond's not looking very happy down there in the corner of the screen. I don't learn how to jump better, Pond. I'm sure there's another down on somewhere else. There it is. Of course, maybe that means that you've got to do both of those, but we'll... At least it's persistent. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Get out of there. No front one. Go go go! Oh man, that was a good. That's a pretty you, good. You run. had a good run there. So yeah, James Pond. Yeah, I, I think it's a neat game. There's there are aspects of it that I really like, and there are things I don't like about it. But overall, you know, I'm not saying it's crap. That's for darn sure. I mean, really, the mission based. Uh, gameplay is interesting to me. Mm -hmm. And that, that really gives the game a different flavor than a lot of your average platformers. And it's really, it's, it is a different style of game from the second one. That's a fact. Yeah. You know, since we tried that one already. So, but overall, yeah, I think it's a pretty decent game. Cool. All right. We'll see you next time. Adios. Can you believe that?